Jasmine and I blog over at runjasmine.blogspot.com and I'm doing this quick little intro video because I want to explain to the readers, followers, fellow bloggers, uh, fellow vloggers out there who, you know, come onto my site and check out my stuff. Um, what this people who inspire monthly segment is about. So this was born out of, I got really tired of the negativity that was going on in social media. I got really tired of, you know, watching the news and seeing all these shootings. And I just like, you know, went to kind of a dark place for a while. And I decided to do something about it. And my way of doing something about that is to spread and sprinkle whatever inspires and you know motivates me in my life with others because I know that there are people out there and family members and friends and random people who watch my stuff that are going through hard times or feel the same way where their environment is really negative right now and they really want to make it brighter and beautiful and this is my way of sharing that with you guys. So I go out and I reach out to people who have inspired, motivated, me and my life, whether they're friends, their family, random strangers that I follow <laughs> on social media uh, that really truly brighten up my day. This is what these people who inspire segment is all about. So with that said, today, well this month I should say, this month, the month of August, the people who inspire interview is with my friend Daniel. Uh, he is from Florida. Well, he's not originally from Florida, but I met him in Florida through a training group down there called the Lake Monroe Row Killers. What? what? Representing. Um, anyway, Daniel to me is the type of person who um, he was just a really awesome role model as a runner to me, and that's why I wanted to interview him because not only is he an incredible athlete and runner. Um, he is, he has a full-time job, he's a husband, he is a dad to two adorable boys, and I'm just like super inspired by the way he's able to prioritize his training, his family, you know, just, just make everything kind of well-balanced. And um, I definitely touched basis on that in the interview when I sent him my questions. <laughs> And he answered them, and I think that is what is the most um, prolific for me is like, wow, this person who runs incredibly fast um, can also, you know, balance work life, home life, and stuff like that. That's definitely something for me that I'm like, <laughs> sorry, that's <was> my Garmin, <laughs> that I'm still trying to figure out. And I think a lot of us are still trying to figure out how do we balance this running life with our work life, with our school life, for some of us, um, with our social life. I don't really have a social life <laughs> anymore because I'm still trying to figure out how to balance it all. Um, but I'm really excited for you all to get to know how he does it and maybe you can take away from that. Um, but I wanted to share this little personal antidote and I don't even think I've shared this story with Daniel himself. And Daniel, if you're watching, this is the most meaningful moment that you have contributed to my life as a runner. There was one time on a long run where Daniel asked me, you know, what are your running goals? And in sassy Jasmine fashion, I said, I want to beat the boys. I want to be faster than you, Daniel. And I'm sure he laughed or whatever. And I probably was like, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> but then you know, he asked me, what's your like long-term goal in running? I said, I want to run a sub three hour marathoner or marathoner. I want to run a sub three hour marathon. And without conviction, he looked me dead in my eyes and he said, you can do it. And that moment was like the ripple effect in my running life because it really instilled a lot of confidence for me to have that trust in the training that these people within the row killers were people that I could, you know, confide in and ask for advice and tips and, you know, whatnot. It really was just an amazing, like, mini running family um, that gave me this confidence to go after those big, hairy, scary 
goals that they had within running. So Daniel, if you are watching this, thank you so much for doing that. You definitely opened that door of confidence for me to pursue these crazy running dreams that I have now, um, along with a lot of the amazing people in um, the Row Killers. That is an amazing group of people. So down to earth and those are, they're like incredible athletes. I can't even say, can't even put in words how amazing that group has been in my life. But I am excited for my viewers out there, readers, friends and family to, you know, get to learn a little bit, a little bit more about Daniel and how he's able to balance these different categories in his life and um, just learn how he got started in running. So without further ado, uh, just look below and the interview is down there. And yeah, leave some comments, some likes, show Daniel some love and support, man. He is an awesome dude and I just wish everybody could find or, you know, go out and appreciate their Daniel in their life. All right.